Yo, dudes! Uh, so welcome to 5-Minute Indian Chickpea Curry. Ready, steady, go! Whoa, Show here started! We go. Okay, here we go. So while Dave's chatting that, the rules of the game, we're going to cook this in five minutes straight. Uh, we were allowed to drain our chickpeas and... Oh, shit, I've got this gas on. Just to add to the proper excitement. Oh, my Jesus. Are we on? Oh, there we are. We're on. Okay, we're on. Woo! Okay, I add a bit of oil. Anyway, so we're down to 4 minutes 40. Two tablespoons of oil. We've got uh, one red onion. Okay, uh, this is part of our five minute dinner series, so it's all about trying to get you to eat uh, more veg and show that dinner. cook really quick. I know there is two of us here, um, but Stephen is just wielder of the spoon of truth. He's not going to be. Thank you, Tito, for the beautiful wooden spoon of truth. Okay, so we've got the garlic's gone in pretty rough there. Okay, I've got about a thumb sized piece of ginger. ginger. Can you mean it less? Here we go. Okay, that's about half a thumb sized piece of ginger. I'm getting a micro plane and just great it in. I've got half a red chili. I'm leaving the seeds in, I like it hot. If you don't like it hot, take the seeds out. I'm just gonna slice them up. And if you do have a super hot pan like this, turn it down. How do you do that? I guess by using a micro plane means you're gonna you're gonna grate it finer, it means it's gonna permeate the flavours. Beautiful! Spread the dish. Steven, you're a genius. Poet. Class act. Yeah. Colours are looking nice. Pan's heating up. Three Check minutes, 38, three and a half minutes left. Here okay, we so we kind of want up our game. Okay, okay time to get up. a bits in. Bang keep it up hot. Up. Boom. Okay. This is seriously hot. Okay, you want to get them onions Ooh. going. Okay, we've got them on. Let's get okay. our spices on. I've got, okay, we're going with Next spices. Next to the spice, we want to okay. give them about 30 seconds to warm up. Okay, three minutes, 20. Two tablespoons of curry powder, or no, one tablespoon of curry powder, teaspoon of cumin, teaspoon of coriander, and a teaspoon of pap ground paprika. Okay, ready? In you go, lads. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna just literally cook these on the heat for about, about 30 seconds just to wake them up. Okay, I'm wake going Wake up, lads, wake up, wake up. It's time to share your okay. beautiful. Anyway, I'm going in there. I've got one tin of chopped tomatoes. In it goes, beautiful. In it goes. We've got one tin of coconut milk. Nice, so the coconut milk is gonna add just a bit of fat, creamy, lovely sweetness. Uh, I'm using full fat, but uh, if you're, you know, if you wanna use low fat, just go for it. Wow, the heat off that pan. Seriously hot. But adding that to the tomatoes, the dish will still have a fat content of about 10%. And we've got one tin of chickpeas. I just drained and rinsed them. Ooh, a lot of heat. Really okay, is. salt, pepper. Uh, salt, I'm going to go with one teaspoon to start with. Okay. One teaspoon of salt. Nice. And I'm going half a teaspoon of black pepper. Beautiful. Okay, now we're pretty close to there now. How are we doing time-wise? Half a teaspoon black pepper. Two minutes, 16 left, and the lads are pretty much there. Okay, well, we wanna... This really needs to cook, and we need the flavors to develop. We have a whole two minutes to develop flavors. Woo! Quickly, quickly, flavors develop. Okay, I've got one decent bunch of coriander. I'm just gonna chop. That's about half. 50 grams worth. So, you might need that much, but I'm just gonna chop the stalks in first. They're gonna add a nice bit of flavor. So don't waste anything, if you can, in terms of flavors. So this is a serious, decent, but if you don't like coriander, use chai, flat parsley, whatever else you're into. It's gonna nice. give a nice bang of color. I'm also gonna take a lime and zest in just a little bit of the skin. It's just gonna add an extra little bit of citrus bang. So I literally just zested just a tiny little bit. It's just gonna add a little bit more acidity, a little bit of fresh bang to it. That was a serious bang of coriander. One minute, 26 left. So geez, we're cruising it. This dish will serve two hungry people or else four I'd say or less hungry more. folk. And I would suggest if you do want to serve with a grain, best serve in this with a wholemeal couscous because it'll have to take five minutes to cook alongside this dish. Looks great. Look at the amount of coriander. Wow. Sorry, I went in there with loads of coriander. Go in with half as much if, you, if you're not That was 50 it. grams. You could easily go with 25 grams, no problem. Yeah. AKA a small bunch. If you could put in a bit of pepper, Mr. Flynn. Yeah, I got half a teaspoon. Okay, look at that minute left, lads. Okay, we're going to juice there. half a lime. Juice of half a lime. Here we go. High squeeze. Now, in terms of uh, serving this, I always like it with an avocado. So I'm gonna serve this with half an avocado. I guess half an avocado per person. Boom. Ooh, pretty good. Time, 36 seconds, pretty good. Do you wanna get a bowl? Yeah, sure. That was cruisy, jeez. Lads, we're getting quick at these five dinner minute dinners. Served, I think we've got about eight other ones, eight other ones up on our channel of other five minute dinners. So I think we're good to go. Boom, heat it off. Officially done, 20 seconds left. That's I think just, that was that's the just quickest just one yet. Seasoning. That's just adjust the seasoning, okay, so. Seasoning, okay, many people get confused with seasoning. In essence, it's tasting it and seeing what does the dish need added to it to, to achieve a balanced 
Mm. Dish. So be. Mm. I think I nailed it. That's a pretty good first time, actually. Okay, time up. Alarm gone. Can you hear it? That's pretty good. Okay, gone off. I really like that. That's delicious. Lovely. Really good. Fine. Uh, super worth doing. Let's pour it into the dish just to show you how. I oh, don't even have to. Don't okay. even have to. Anyway, thanks for watching. There it was. Five minutes simple. Genuinely super tasty. Fab. Go great with any type of grain of choice. Uh, I like it with kind of. I'd like this with couscous or ro couscous is really simple. You could have done couscous uh, in the meantime. Anyway, thanks many for watching. Check out all the five minute dinners. Give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below of any other five minute dinners you want us to try. Thanks many for watching, dudes. Cheers. Bye.